Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life and welcome to another Plan With Me video. I just want to talk really quick about um, some strategy here. I've got some um, fuzz on there. Um, so moving forward, I'm going to be using this planner as um, my YouTube and editing and blog schedule, but also my work planner since I'm working for Freckle Fawn and I don't feel comfortable showing my previous week because it just does have uh, very sensitive information on it. So I'm not going to be showing you guys um, the previous week, but I'll show you guys decorating out this week. I'm going to change things up so I can incorporate my working in with my um, blog and YouTube stuff. And then in my um, family planner, I don't mind sharing this with you guys. I feel like I really didn't feel, fill out a whole lot this week. I just started working. This week was my first full week of working. So I really um, was just trying to get things organized and I will get better about um, referring to my planners now that I decided on narrowing it down to just using these two, um, using the notebooks just did not work for me at all. So I had stuff um, put in the other notebook and then I had to try to keep up with all three of these and it was just madness. So I decided to nix the notebook idea and just stick with the two planners while incorporating all my work stuff into here. So that's my game plan moving forward. As far as color schemes and design ideas, I thought for this one I was going to stick with um, yellow, green, and the aqua color for this next week. And I pulled out some washi tapes to go with that, so I wasn't sure the direction I was really going to go in as far as um, design stuff, so I pulled out a bunch of different washi tapes. I could stick with, you know, the pineapple theme, which I really like, with the gold. I thought this one coordinated really nicely with that one as well, along with the scallop. I really wanted to use this last week and I didn't end up using it. So I thought maybe something like this, or I could do something that's much more green and fun with all the other ones, bring in some of this rose gold, which I really like. I might end up using this one um, starting next month for more Valentine's-y type of stuff. Um, so I'm just kind of gonna wing it with all of these. I also really like this scallop one. And all of these are washi tapes from Freckled Fawn. So, uh, you know, they're my favorite. I'm gonna talk about them every week probably. And then moving on to my next planner, I'm going to be using this um, purple and aqua with a little bit of rainbow colors in it. It's just gonna be unicorny and flowery. And so these are the ones I plan on incorporating into my design. So I'm really excited to um, make that one really fun and pretty. Um, so then the next thing I've got are some inks. I'm not gonna ink test, I'm just gonna wing it this week. I've got a couple of different colors that'll match that color scheme. These are all Stampin' Up! inks again this week. And I got my stamp cleaner back last week. I forgot to voice over this part, but I used a baby wipe because I had this in a drawer and Olivia doesn't get into these drawers. She was in here and I couldn't get into it without her seeing. She actually doesn't know about them. Um, my D-E-S-K has drawers. She doesn't realize that they're drawers. So I'm not gonna open them in front of her for as long as possible so that she doesn't get into all my stuff. I'll have to baby proof it. I'll have to put locks on all those drawers once she realizes that they um, open and close. But anyway, so I have my stamp cleaner this week. I remember to grab it out when she wasn't looking. I will be using that again this week. And I pulled out um, a small block. She ran off with my other block last week and I don't know exactly where it is. I think it's in her room somewhere. Moving forward, so Freckled Fawn starts their release on the 20th. It's gonna be a really exciting end of the week getting release stuff done. So I will incorporate that excitement in with the page. But I think that covers everything for now. I'm gonna speed up the video and voice over it for you guys. We can just get on with our planning. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one. Here we go. Before we get started, I wanna just apologize ahead of time. My toddler and her daddy are playing. They're being kind of loud. I am in a different room, but you're still gonna hear them probably. So just wanna warn you guys for that. I wanted to make sure that I got this video ready for you guys so it's up bright and early on Sunday. Last week, I totally forgot about it. I am not used to doing a Sunday video, so it was totally a new thing for me to have to um, schedule this ahead of time for Sunday. But anyway, going on to the planning, I'm just looking through washi tape and I'm gonna put down washi strips around the weekend section and then I'm going to divide Monday through Friday like I have been dividing. I thought this would work better since I don't do a lot of stuff on the weekend as far as things I need to plan out. I finally decide on using the aqua scallop washi which is so beautiful. I love the way it looks on my page. 
I will probably be using this one quite a bit because it's just so pretty. And then I also picked out a little chevron um, green striped one. I didn't think it matched as well as I had hoped, but it still works with the greens and aqua and yellow that I'm going for for this week. Since we're doing baby gym class makeups, I already have the stickers down for gym class, but I go ahead and put down my music class sticker and then also one of the books. I do pick the green ones this week. These are from Lulu and Ro. I really, really like the quality of these. Next, I look through my planner stamps and I've got to find a better way to organize these. I'll probably end up with getting uh, more of the envelopes like the Studio L2E stamps come in. I really like those. They're easier to flip through when they're all kind of uniform. I have most of these in original packaging, so it's just kind of awkward for me to have to flip through them and find the stamps that I want. Since I did a lot of video filming last week, this week's going to be editing heavy, so I went ahead and added this um, little computer icon. This is from the Iconic Studio L2E set. I added this a couple of days that I'll just dedicate to video editing, and I'm stamping these in some green. I also grabbed the little iPhone icon and added it to on Tuesday because I am working on transferring all of my photos from my phone to Amazon Prime Photos. They have unlimited storage if you're a Prime member, and so I'm just going to transfer all my photos there so I have all my photos in one place. Right now I'm using the iCloud, and I really just don't like the iCloud Drive thing. Um, I'll talk more about this, I think, in my February video because this is a big endeavor that I'm doing is transferring all of my photos um, over to the Amazon Photos. I decided to make Monday our house visiting day because they started framing our house this last week and I want to see when they do the second level, hopefully um, before they put the roof on. I want photos kind of progressing the whole way. We might end up visiting the house twice this week since they are doing all the framing. I really want to get some photos. Um, but anyway, I used the same iconic stamp set for that one as well. Next, I pulled out an old Studio Calico stamp set that's got workout inspiration and, you know, names of different machinery for working out. I pulled out the scale for this, and I also pulled out a little inspiration one that says work it. I am still using the top square for adding my workouts, but I usually pick them like the morning of or the night after. Here's a look at the stamp set. It is an older stamp set. They don't have this anymore. Um, so I put the scale on on Friday because that's my official weigh-in day for myself. Next I pull out the Lawn Fawn Plan On It stamp set. I also have their seasonal set, so I'll be using that for um, Valentine's Day and working up to Valentine's Day, but I end up pulling out the same little um, silverware stamp to use for my meal planning section. This week I am moving up to that um, second little box, and I still am undecided about the last box. I really just don't know what to do with it. I'll have to think of something. There's a cute little hand weight stamp also in the same stamp set that I pull out and use for that first box. All the days except the first one that says work it, I stamp the little hand weight. So that just kind of gives me more inspiration to work out. I don't know about you guys, but you know, the purpose of me planning is, you know, for one, it's pretty, but for two, it makes me more motivated to actually follow through with my planning. If it's cute, if it's easy to look at, it makes me more likely to look at it and refer to it and get stuff done. And it's really been helping me having it planned out the last few weeks. I also use the to-do stamp from this same stamp set as well. I'm almost off camera for this next part, but down at the bottom where the notes section is, I'm doing gratitude again. So I just use that bold headliner stamp again. It's from Studio L2E and I just put gratitude right there. Next I just write in editing and also the photo day. Um, I think this is probably an unnecessary step because the icon's pretty self-explanatory, but I just like the way it looks with the writing next to it. Again, that goes back to, you know, making it pretty and making it something you want to use and want to look at. I also write in my meal planning and scheduling the grocery delivery. I do that over the weekends to get fresh stuff for the beginning of the week. Down at the bottom, there's this top five list. I added in Declutter Kitchen and also back up my photos because that's going to be a big project I'm going to be working on the next few weeks. And I didn't have any other things. But those are my two main things. After doing the little bit of writing, I called this one done. So I do my actual planning like the day ahead. So I'll write in my to-do list stuff the night before and then refer to it back fresh in the morning. So moving on to my YouTube and now work 
calculated planner, I decided to do this a little bit different. I haven't really used the notes section all that much, so I'm going to be making a work section, a to create section, and a to edit section. And the to create and to edit section will definitely overlap with the actual work. Um, so I'm using the work section for um, important events, important um, things that need to be done, like picking winners for giveaways, launching giveaways, certain things like that. I'm going to keep track of social media in that section. And when it comes to anything I have to create to go towards work, it'll still go in that to create section. If it goes to, with anything related to editing, it'll still go in that editing section. So there's going to be some overlap. My job is very much related to the same kind of things that I do for my YouTube channels and my blogs. So I'm going to kind of intermingle it all on here. And that's one of the reasons I don't want to show you guys the after um, when I'm flipping through. I show you guys the week previous. I'm not going to do that for this part because it is time sensitive stuff. I'm going to be putting in um, important top secret type of stuff that's going to be happening. And as far as the look I'm going for this week, I'm going for blinged out purple unicorns. So it's going to be very bright and purple and happy. I really just wanted to incorporate this unicorn um, washi tape. It's just super duper cute. This is a freckled fawn washi tape. So since sneak peeks start for um, the freckled fawn kits on the 20th, I decided to add this little rainbow ribbon down the side of that work box on Friday because that's going to be a big special day. I found this stamp set. I think it's from Neat and Tangled. I got it at Simon Says Stamp and I will link to all the supplies as usual in the description box down below. Um, but this one's really good for keeping track of blogging and YouTubing type of stuff. It's got a lot of really cool things on there, um, like this one, Announce Winners. So if you do giveaways and stuff, um, this is a great one to keep track of those days. I do have to announce a winner on Wednesday. Be sure to head over to the Freckled Fawn Instagram account. Uh, we are giving away four of the brand new Traveler's Notebooks. I'm so, so excited to get these. Um, they're currently in the mail to me. I cannot wait. I'm going to be doing some Traveler's Notebook stuff over on the Freckled Fawn YouTube channel. I'll link to that as well. Um, I'm really excited to get started with Traveler's Notebook stuff. I've watched some YouTube videos and I'm just geeked out about it. Um, but anyway, going back to planning, next I add in some little video camera. Um, I don't know what those are called, clappers. I think they're super duper cute. I'm using that to keep track of the days that we're going to have videos up on the Freckled Fawn channel. I'm trying to stick with um, about Monday, Wednesday, Friday. This week definitely worked out that way, um, but I want to make sure there's lots of inspiration over on that channel. I stamped these on the far left side so I could write in what video I'm going to be doing that day. This is just going to be my posting schedule. I'm going to be filming these ahead of time, so I'll be adding that in the to create, to edit sections accordingly so that I make sure the videos are going up these days. I do have an editorial calendar for um, this channel and also for my crafty channel, and I keep track of that on my iCalendar. And so I'm going to go to a screen video real quick and show you guys how I'm keeping track of those videos. So I'm actually showing you previous months. I don't want to show you guys anything ahead of time. So I started doing the editorial calendar at the beginning of November. And so I kind of have it organized by color. I've also been using iCalendar for a long time to keep track of family appointments and stuff, anything um, critical that's timed. Like if I'm at the dentist, I'm scheduling a dentist appointment. I put it in my iCalendar from my phone as soon as I'm hearing my appointment time and scheduling it with the dentist. So that really helps us keep track of things. And that family calendar also gets synced with Johnny's iCalendar. So we both have iPhones. I have the MacBook so I can see it on my computer and we can both see it on our phones. So I've got the auto pay calendar. It's just, you know, all our bills that come out automatically. And the family one for when I share with Johnny. And then I've got one for my Scrap Masters Paradise YouTube, which is the pink here. That's my scrapbook channel. And then I have the one for Sandy Sweet Life, which is the aqua color here. And so I just started doing a yellow one for Peckle Pond. I keep track of the blog editorial calendar um, for that. Since I'm coordinating a lot of different designers' projects, it's easy for me to just glance at it and see when to schedule the next project when they turn in um, their assignments. And then um, for just an example, to keep track of what's been done and scheduled and what hasn't been done and scheduled, I put two little um, asterisks 
next to things. So when I'm first putting them on my editorial calendar, when I'm moving things around, um, when they haven't been edited and scheduled, they still have those two asterisks next to them. So I can just quick glance and look through the days and see what's needing to be done next. It really helps me keep track of things. And then here's the yellow that is the Freckled Farm calendar. So I really, really just absolutely love this system. Like I said, I've been using it since November. Absolutely love it. And the best thing about this system is you can move things around. So, you know, I can move my videos around as needed. I can reschedule things as needed. It's just super fluid and easy to manipulate, and I love it. Since it's been working really well for me, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like because I know some of you guys are bloggers and YouTubers too. So last week, the social media tracker thing just totally did not work for me. I gave up after like Tuesday or Wednesday. It just wasn't going to work for me. So I decided this week to add my social media tracking as just a checklist on each day of the week for my freckled fawn stuff. I was thinking I would go back and make a little post-it note, stamping the stars and then kind of detailing which star coordinates with which thing. So I kind of get used to using just the stars and not trying to label each one. So it'll be nice and clean in my planner. Um, so, you know, I post to all their social media stuff. So I'm trying to keep track of which things I post to each day. I'm using that same checklist stamp set from Studio L2E that I was using previously. It has seven little um, squares on it. In this case, it's stars. I thought the stars were really cute with the unicorn theme. So next, I did a bunch of things while the camera was turned off. I stamped the work title on the top of that first box section. I added a little notes thing because I'm going to be using that weekend two column section just to keep track of notes for things. And then I'm going to be using the purple and blue alternating for the to create and to edit sections down at the bottom. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I also stamped ideas in that um, left sidebar section. On the bottom line section on the left hand side of the page, I go ahead and stamp this goals. I keep track of some goals I have each week for um, everything pretty much. It's freckled fawn stuff. It's my YouTube work stuff. I've got specific goals for each week. So I'm going to put them down there so I can keep track of those. And this stamp came from a Simon Says Stamp exclusive planner stamp set, which is really cute. I'm pretty sure they have three stamp sets. I've got two of them and I do want the third one. They're super duper cute. For my checklist boxes this week, I'm going to be using the Plan On It stamp set from Lawn Fawn, and I'm going to use the little hearts. And there's actually five in each one of these little checklist things. Previously, I had sliced off the bottom one, so I have four little checklist boxes in a row, and then one individual one that I can stamp um, wherever. So I use the little line of four boxes for the To Create and To Edit section, and then I'm going to go back and on the Goals section, add a little heart to each line of that so I can add my goals. Now I was thinking next week I would skip a line in between so I have two lines in order to write them in case they're longer goals and it also will just look nicer with more spacing in between each of the goals. But I really really like how these hearts looked in the um, you know the checklist style with the four hearts going down the list. I think it gives me plenty of room to write and they're nice and big. So here's just a close-up of what I'm talking about. I just snipped off that last um, part of the stamp. You could totally do that with clear stamps. You can cut them wherever you want. I just use my Cutter B scissors so I get a nice detail cut. And that was it for planning this week. I'm going to give this layout a try. I might switch it around next week. I've got another idea for how I'm going to um, plan out all of this stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying these plan with me videos. I'm going to have these for you guys every Sunday. I've really enjoyed putting them together. I think it's just making me way more productive by having my planners all organized and pretty enough that I want to use them more. So I hope you guys like it. Um, be sure to tag me over on Instagram. I'm the scrap master. I'll leave my Instagram link below. I'll leave supply lists below. So if you saw anything you want to get, it'll be in the description box. I will also have a coordinating blog post over on sammysweetlife.com with some close-up photos. So you'll see a little bit better view. And my supply list over there will actually have pictures to go with it. So you can just click on the picture. It's a lot easier to navigate. I hope your week is off to a great start and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.